So now I've managed to turn them all into JPEGs. Now I'm just going to delete all the BMPs. And now we're just left with all the JPEGs. So we're in good shape now. I'm going to open up the uh, MySky.Shader. You can see here that under the textures I created the folder already. And I put the MySky underscore Skybox, if you remember. And uh, then I got the QBR editor image set to MySky.TGA, which actually let's change that to Skybox. JPEG. Doesn't really matter though, either way. If that'll work. And uh, then we have some options here to set the surface light or the Q3 map sun. And uh, you can also set the. Uh, this is the sky cone. This is. Um, this is what tells the game where to look for the, uh, the sky images. So that's all set up correctly. So we can save that, close it, and uh, now all we got to do is just add our mysky.script to the shader list so that it will show up in Q3 Radiant. So I'll just open this up here and add a new line, mysky, save it, close it, and now we can open up our level editor. Go to flush and reload. It's up here. And uh, now we can see my sky is here. And here it is. It's surrounded by a white box, which means it's a shader. So now we can uh, create a nice little room here. Set the texture. You can see here that it's the correct one that we're looking for. And you can see here, I just added in a quick little platform and a player. Start, and now I'm going to go ahead and compile. And now, as you can see here, As you can see here, uh, we now have some nice terrain, uh, seamless and everything. All the problems have been fixed, and uh, <laughs> everything should be working now. And that's how you make terrain for a skybox. And uh, all right, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.